Jesus manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. Good afternoon and welcome to Daily Prayer coming to you from St. John's Episcopal Church here in Princess Street in Edinburgh. I am Theophilus, a member of this congregation. Today we commemorate the confession of Simon Peter as told in the Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus asked, who do you say that I am? Simon spoke up and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus then responded, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah. It was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter. And on this rock, I will build my church. In telling this story, the evangelists show that every confession of Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the living God, is always a gift from God. It is not something that human beings can discover by their own powers, nor is it a truth obvious to anyone who looks at the historical Jesus without the help of the Holy Spirit. The natural power of sight needs to be fulfilled by God's merciful gift of insight. Today's feast was uh, instituted by the Episcopal Church of the United States to complement the feast of the conversion of St. Paul on January the 25th. Today, these two feasts provide a suitable beginning and an end of the week of prayer for Christian unity, which all churches now observe at this time of the year. As Paul's conversion reminds Christians that they are united in a call to proclaim Jesus among the nations, so Peter's confession reminds Christians that they are united in the basis of this mission, which is the inspired knowledge of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. So let us now worship God with words from Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, you inspired Simon Peter, first among the apostles, to confess Jesus as Messiah and Son of the living God. Keep your church steadfast upon the rock of this faith, so that in unity and peace we may proclaim the one truth and follow the one Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty Father, whose blessed Son, before his passion, prayed for his disciples that they might be one, as you and he are one. Grant that your church, being bound together in love and obedience to you, 
may be united in one body by the one spirit that the world may believe in him whom you have sent your son Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen A reading from Matthew When Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Jesus said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. The anthem a Song of Our True Nature by Gillian of Norwich Christ revealed our frailty and our feeling, our trespasses and our humiliations. Christ also revealed his blessed power, his blessed wisdom and love. He protects us as tenderly and as sweetly when we are in greatest need. He raises us in spirit and turns everything to glory and joy without ending. God is the ground and the substance, the very essence of nature. God is the true father and mother of natures. We are all bound to God by nature. And we are all bound to God by grace. And this grace is for all the world because it's our pre precious Mother Christ. For this fair nature was prepared by Christ for the honor and nobility of all and for the joy and bliss of salvation. So for our confession, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So let us confess our sins. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us sinners. God forgives, be at peace. Amen. And now for our prayers. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. Christi eleison, Christ have mercy. K 
Kyrie Eleison. Lord, have mercy. For our intercession this afternoon, I'm using the form two from the Scottish liturgy. There'll be pauses in between and you may frame your own. So to the bidden Lord, hear us. The response is, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. O God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom you chose us before the foundation of the world and destined us in love to be your own, help us to pray for all your children. Pray for the life of the world, that your peace may be known and may prevail. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who suffer injury, death or loss, that they may know the hope to which you call us. Increasingly, we all know families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray for all who exercise power and authority. For our Prime Minister in Westminster, for our First Minister here in Scotland, and in Northern Ireland and Wales. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the church, which is Christ's body, that it may live for the praise of God's glory. Let us continue to pray for all our churches, and especially churches together here in Edinburgh. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, you exerted your strength and power when you raised Christ from the dead, putting everything in subjection beneath his feet. Accept the prayers which we offer in his name, for the world you have created and redeemed, through him in whom you have set forth, the mystery of your will to unite all things in heaven and on earth, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uniting our voices and prayers into one, we pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation and for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the love and care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us task which demand our best efforts. 
and for leading us to a compromise which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for Jesus Christ, for the truth of, this, of his word and the example of his life, for his testfast obedience by which we, he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, for his rising to life again in which we are raised to life of your, kin of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know Christ and make him known and through him at all times in all places may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be evermore with us.